Hello everybody, it's your boy the Green Talent coming at you with a um another video at the particular time. Um if you are quite aware, as you see on the side of me, I have three packages here. One, two, and three. And you probably already know this is actually um this is the see, this is actually um Collector's Corner number 15. Wish I got that right. Collector's Corner number 15. Um, that's one, two, three, 15. So, like I said before, um, a few seconds in the video that's currently not going. I'm looking at some um, NFL football here from the um, from, from last season. She just want to highlight the other Cleveland Browns and the uh, Ravens. Um, the score a 42-35 Ravens up by six. So, but um, interesting the game. We were on game from last year. Game that I, that I think I did solve. Not exactly sure, but at this moment, let me go ahead and th open, open up the packages so you can see what's inside of them. I want to make the video nice and short. Nice and short. So, without any further ado, let go open, 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 open up the first packet at this moment. Um. This here came here um, back here last week. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up right quick. As usual, I don't have my I don't have my lucky number one blade, but I do have this right here. This been opened up some pretty good packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for the first one to be opened. Alright, so far so good. more cuts right here on the side there there we go let's see if I can get it because ah there we go got it okay okay hold up let me get this on this end here there we go all right like I said it's kind of difficult to open it because the person whoever sent this here had tape up the top part of the of the package of what they did and which is pretty good keep it keep it well safe while it's being shipped you want you want your product shipped in good protection so all right here we go and yeah I heard it's in good cardboard so you can see it's in good cardboard there Get it out of here, kind of difficult to get it out. To me, to me y'all, kind of hard to get out of here. I mean, I, I never in my life I had to, I had to, I had to scuffle with a package. And this one here, I'm scuffling with one. Oh, there we go. Get a little wiggle here, a little wiggle there. All right, as usual, it's in cardboard and protect it keep it from being like I said you want your product shipped safe and sound so nothing won't be damaged okay all right open this up oh my this this is this is this is most beautiful ladies and gentlemen I bring to you this here is DC Comics JSA JSA classified on top there. This is issue number one. Issue number one, right there. As, on, as you quite wire quite wire a word, it's actually Power Girl. It's actually a, a sketch drawing of Power Girl for JSA classified. Here's the classified number one is Power Girl. Um, this is actually a beautiful. That's the way, that's the way I thought it would look. They take it up here on the side there. And right there we go. Wow. 
it is true. Magnificent, like I said, it's sketched. It's sketched. And this, this is a beautiful issue. Let me go ahead and make this, make this fight quick. Get a good mute. Fire on commercial. There we go. And like I said, number one, um, they just say, coming book that cost 250 but I paid a good substantial amount for it. This comic book cost me a good $30 because it sketched and it came out, I think, the early two, 2005. Yeah, 2005. So, it took, so, that's, so that's, that should give you some idea how much the comic book cost. It's a rare comic. It's a drawing. It's a sketch. And like I said, it's called JSA Classified. And it is the, not the first appearance of Power Woman. It's probably, probably more like an introduction to her in, um, in um, J, JSA Classified. If, if you're quite aware where JSA stands for, JSA stands for Justice Society of America. Um, and, if, and if you're quite aware of it, um, Power Girl is actually a Golden Age figure. Yeah, she was created back in the Golden Age era, but they don't brought her to the forefront in, uh, in the in the, in the um, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and 2000s. So she had been reinvented quite a few times. Um, she had a series out that ended in issue 27. It's a Power Girl series from 127. And number one, it was it was the first issue. It was the second and the last issue of Valuable. They're hard to find, and so. I got it on hold. I'm hoping no one done on touch where I got it on my account. And if it holds up well enough, I should I should have it ordered this week. But anyway, the artists are Johns, Connor, and Paula Marley. Paul Miotti. Paul Miotti. If you're quite aware, Paul Miotti art working pretty good. He one he one of the better artists in the world. Uh, freelance artists. And this is a beautiful issue, as you can see, it's by DC Comics right there. Here, 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 the artist Johns, Connor, and Palmiotti right there. JSA classified number one. And like I said, it's get it's a it's a beautiful drawing sketch comic. I love it. Uh, like I said, I paid a good twenty five thirty dollars for it, but it actually come book actually cost more than that on the market because it's a rare comic and it has Power Girl on the front there. Um, I would open it up, but I'm not going to. Cause it's a beautiful comment, and I'm gonna read it and get some details about Power Girl because I'm, because recently I'm a big fan of Power Girl recently, and she's been out for quite a while. So this is actually a good comment, and I'm gonna try to get more into details of how um, this comment came to be. JSA classified, like I guess it's number one, and it didn't probably didn't probably the actually the first comment of JSA classified. So this actually worth something. I guess I, I paid thirty dollars for it, but it actually cost more than that on the market. Probably about three, maybe four hundred macaroons. So that's pretty good money for a rare comic. You know what I'm saying? And I got it at that price. And this act and it's also a first printing. So it ain't the second printing or third printing. It's the first printing. That that will make it worth its weight in gold. Anyway. Alright, put this back up in here. Quick, put it to the side. All right, and then the second one, I'm gonna go and open up. Um, let me see. All right, I'm gonna start with this one here. Um, this came on the 18th. It came the next day after the one I just showed you. Um, like I said before, I got I actually got some Golden Age Arrow comments. Man, I'm starting that gold. Let me some silver. Um, the silver, bronze, and modern silver, bronze, copper, and modern age coming at a video near you. So be aware of that one. I just want to go ahead and get these combos because oh, these are some ass, some new, some new ones I'm showing you guys. Um, hope you like it because I because I enjoy buying them, and so that makes it worth it, worth very well. All right. Get opened up right quick. For some reason, I'm having a hard time opening up these comics here. So bear with me as I continue. As I continue to get open, there we go. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Get this bad boy open. 
open. As usual, you got it real thin so it, to protect the comic book. Okay. Wow. This here is Black Willow. Black Willow. Number one. That was number one. This is actually a variant cover of Black Willow herself. I'm not quite sure who the name of the artist is, but this is actually some beautiful art. And it's on a black and red cover. And, and as you saw, if you, if you know, if you're quite aware of a spider named Black Widow, Black Widows are the, one of the world's most poisonous spiders. The woman's not poisonous, but she's actually a Marvel um, Universe character. It's number one right here. So you see number one on the side there, Black Widow. Bottom black on top, black wood, black on top, wood at the bottom, and the symbol behind her, and there is her in a gorgeous black costume. Um, this is actually a beautiful comic. Wow. Um, I'm not exactly sure when this came out, but, but, but I want to say it came out back here. I, th I think 2019, if I read it right, it came out 2019, and this is actually a beautiful variant copy of Black Widow. Pages, pages appear to be real thin. Pages and staples are definitely on the mark. No bending of the pages on the JSA, on the JSA classified quick issue of Power Girl, and where well, this one, like I said, you can tell because all of it, everything is magnificent here. No bend, no bending of the of the bond, nothing. I mean, this is actually a perfect design comic book. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much this one is going to cost or how much it's worth at this time, but all I do know is that it's, it, this, is a, it is a design variant copy, and, um, I am loving my comments so far. Like I said, that one was called Black Willow Variant Copy Number One, and you, and, and you, and you, and you already seen the design of a costume. Costume is beautiful. If you're quite aware of any any indication of Black Widow, you know that Black Widow is is a an espionage. Um, I'm, I'm, she, she's not. I'm not gonna say she's exactly a hero, but she's more into espionage. She's more of a spy. So somewhere between the late. 50s, early 60s, she became a member of the Avengers and been fighting by how, how the Avengers ever since. She done, she, she had no special powers. She's she, she, she's very well equipped in, in, um, in hand to hand combat and she's very skilled in specialized weapons. So she's pretty good. She's she, she, she very, otherwise, you can say she's a good, otherwise, you can say she's a marksman or a moss woman for that matter. She's very good. And that's one reason why I had to get that issue because. Black Widow is one of the hottest characters. And she got her own movie coming out pretty soon. So be wary of that. Alright, last but not least, this last one here. Let's see how I can like, open this up. Okay. I think I found the opening right here. And on this side, on this side as well, because I'm find the right opening area to open it up. There we go. Again, bear with me. Right, Once again, it's in cardboard, good protection. This time, a little bit thicker. So, get it right here. Right 
here and right here. All right. Okay, midtime is wrapped up in some um, bubble wrap and with some tape around the end there. Let's see if I can find the trigger, the opening. Okay, I think I might have found it right here. Bear with me once again. Got it, almost got it. Okay, y'all, it's two issues in here, so. Oh my. Wow. Oh my goodness. And these are two of a pair and they're both different. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you and they, they ain't pretty good. They ain't some type of gold nature package. I bring to you Black Widow again. Oh my God. The one that I showed you earlier was a variant. And these are variant copies. Well, Black Widow right here. And this is number number one. That's number one as well. Number one on the side there. That's your, your barcode there. And as you can see, once again, she has a black costume and black and red surrounded with, with the uh, marking of the Black Willow Spider itself. I love this issue. It's a, and as you can see, her hair right there is red. Red hair. So be wary of the one I'm going to show you now. This one here is also, this is Black Willow number two. It's number two. Right here. And as you can see, her hair is white right I mean, her hair is blonde right here. And she has a, a silver costume. So a costume made of silver. It's either silver or white. I think it's silver. And her her um, bands and her belt is gold. And on here, the costume is black. Bands gold. And her belt is gold. Hair is red right here. Silver costume. Gold. Um, bands. Gold. Um, belt and her hair is blonde and as you can see the background is blue as either blue or purple and black I, I'm, I'm gonna go with blue I'm gonna say blue and blue and black blue and black red and black wow these are some beautiful some beautiful issues ladies and gentlemen uh, let me get this one here out right quick so you can get a better description of the of each issue oh my god this is beautiful This is beautiful. Wow, look at that. I'm thinking this one here is the um, variant issue of this one. The one on the black, the black one before you. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I got two beautiful issues. They all, each one are different. As you can see, this one here is fully black and white. With the black costume and the belt. And the belt and her bands look, look, look like they're gray. They probably, I think that's black and gray. I think her belt and her, her bands are gray with black costume. This right here, the costume is black with gold and gold, with gold bands and gold belt. And this one right here is silver with gold bands, gold belt, hair blonde, hair red. And I'm thinking her hair is red and this one is well. Yep, it's red. But the hair it looks different here and the hair looks different on that one. I mean, wow. This is some beautiful issues. I am loving this. This is uh, listen, I am I'm, I am loving this. Um these three issues, you can say I just bought you some issues on, on Lady Day. So um with this actually women's day, this actually women's month rather. So be wary of this as well. It's Women's Month. 
I bought you four issue or three issues, two issues, two issues rather. Uh, one is DC Power Girl J JSA classified number one, and I got your two number one issues here, number one right here. Two number one issues. Let me get a better look at them, like right quick. Two number one issues, and here's your number two. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So, without any further ado, this is your boy, The Green Talons. Coming at you with a video that is considered Women's Day, or Women's Month, rather. Peace, my love. Oh, one other thing. Like I always say, I don't know why I always try to end the video before I do this. Um, so, subscribe to my channel at the bottom down there. Sharon is Karen, like, like always. Um, click that button at the very top of the screen and most importantly let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace and love.